some people might wonder why uh, non-mutated EGFR is called wild type. And I often discussed with my patients that in the context of EGFR, mutations are good. We don't normally think that way, but this is kind of like the X-Men. Um, and, and, and the corresponding to not having a mutation is wild type. So wild type sounds kind of fun and, and a little bit exciting. So what is wild type? Wild type comes from old genetics literature. So the original geneticists in um, using their models picked fruit flies or drosophila as one of the typical models of genetics. And when they would do a genetic manipulation, usually giving a chemical that would change one of the genes or giving radiation that would change one of the genes and see fruit fly offspring that looked a little bit different, they would say, well, what do we compare that to? So there was the mutant form, and those were the ones that looked different, and then there was the wild type form. And that was similar to the one that just flew in to your apple or your banana sitting on the counter. It was a fruit fly from the wild. So a normal gene or an unmutated gene is still called wild type based on that. 